So it's going to automatically get the next available number. So we can just always set it at zero and not worry about it. The name is going to be name underscore txt dot text. And the message is going to be comment underscore txt dot text. So now that we have all that done, the insert statement should be working. But we want to pull out a few results out of it. These results really don't pull anything that we need to know, except for that it was successful. And if this function kicks off, it was already successful. So one thing I want to do is call the select statement again so that we get all of the new items in there. But first, I want to clear it. So I'm just going to grab the name of one of these text areas up here. And I'm going to clear those as well. And then I want to clear the name underscore text and the entries underscore text. So now that those are all cleared, then it calls the select statement again and fills in the top text again. Now that we've gotten that far, it should all work, so we just need to check our publish settings before we publish it the first time. Make sure it's ActionScript 2.0, and we have this load data classes here. If that's not listed, go up to your import, and you import the Peak Studio as PHP AS2.xml. You'll find that in the published profiles, right where it opens it up every time. Click OK. Save it. Publish it. So now we have all of our working files. I already have one of those on the server, so I'm just going to delete that one file. So we just upload everything. And then I'm just going to open up a browser window here. And check out the file. Okay, it looks like it's working up top here. And this the only reason I see anything up here is because I've tested this whole system once already. It's not working because the button hasn't been set up yet. So we're going to set up the button. And one other thing that I see that we should do. So the button is submit. underscore btn dot release equals function <clears throat> and it's just going to call this insert function once the insert's done we need to also look at what if somebody doesn't fill out the form completely? So we're just going to get that error text working really quick here. And I'm going to write an if-else if statement to make that happen. And then I'm going to add one closing bracket down here. So we want to look at the name underscore txt dot text and make sure that it's not equal to blank blank or make sure it's, see if it's equal to that. Or, we want to also see if comment is blank. If they are, we want the error text. To throw an error. Now that we have that thrown an error, we need to do one more part right here in the else statement, and that's if they had already thrown an error, we just want to clear it for them. So now that we've got that stuff added in there, we only need to upload the guestbook file, the SWF. And we'll ref 
refresh it and test it again. <clears throat> and there we go, it worked. And our error detection worked one way, worked the other way. Just to show, the, show you the different error detections working, since they all have the same statement. So all the error detection works. We're able to add to the database. So now both of our insert and select statements are working fine, and we're good to go. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we'll be looking at making a backend for this system so that an admin can go in and edit and delete any entries they want to. Thanks so much. <laughs>